the leper scholar versus Israel in Isaiah 53, exaltation. The belief that Isaiah 53 describes the Jewish people as the man Israel that is often attributed to Rashi is now the prevalent teaching on the subject. Jews for Judaism is one of the most followed on the internet in its analysis of Isaiah 53 being the people Israel. The following is from Jews for Judaism, Isaiah 53, verse by verse. There's been no change to, to anything. This is directly from their internet site, which they allow you to download. They authorize the use of this material. If you're not authorized, if someone doesn't say share this or download this, take this, in some manner authorizing you to take it, you are not to take information from people's websites. But having this authority to take it, the only thing I have to worry about is slander and perjury, and that is not something I would do. I'm a lawyer, very familiar with these things. This is in quotes. 52, 13. Behold, my servant shall succeed. He will be exalted and become high and exceedingly lofty. The success and exaltation of God's servant is an event that the prophet sees as futuristic. This is used for Judaism, and, and that particular uh, verse 12 is different than the one that's used in the Jewish Publication Society's 1985 edition of the translation of Hebrew to English of the Hebrew Bible. I'm not sure where, they, where, where it comes from. Continuing on with this writing, the immediate context, chapter 52, verses 7 through 12, tells us that this is part of the blessing that Israel will experience at the time of her restoration. This is my commentary on that. In Isaiah 52, verses 13 through 15, a multiple verse quotation, starting at 13, ending at 15, the verses are combined. The Lord begins to describe his righteous servant of chapter 53. Isaiah 52, 13 through 15 should have been verses 1 through 3 of chapter 53. My servant to be exalted and become high and exceedingly lawfully is now the Gentile man God comes with from Adam, a Christian country, and of the Jewish people none are with him. It is not the exiles. It is the Gentile that becomes my righteous servant in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 11 after passing the test of devotion in Isaiah 53 verse 10 when he makes himself an offering for guilt in a covenant with God the immediate context of Isaiah 52 verses 7 through 12 is poetry and an announcement of prophecy fulfilled in the return to Judah of all 13 tribes a remnant of each tribe who had been deported in exile to Assyria, Babylon at one time or another. My servant, exalted, was the Assyrian Babylonian exiles and the victory, this is, this is from verses 7 through 12, and the victory